So I got this parts accord and um, I'm going to pull one of the brake calipers off and see if it fits on those hubs. And if it does, we're gonna seal them and use them on there. All right, so they do fit. Um, so it turns out the, uh, let's see, it'd be like the 2000 Accord EX. Uh, apparently the brakes are exactly the same as a 03 to 06. Um, so it fits. I did kind of realize after the fact, after I took them off, that the only reason I was switching them out was because of one brake caliper bracket, because one of them, the uh, one of these was just totally seized. Like I tried really hard to get it out of there and it wouldn't come out. So it's really just for a brake caliper bracket, but you know, these rotors are actually in pretty good shape. I mean, I'm probably gonna, you know, I'll just get new brakes anyway, but this will give me something to uh, use for temporary that. And I wanna, you know, clean these brackets and calipers up and paint them. So yeah. And so I started painting up the calipers. It's just like one, one pass, I need to do another pass. Um, the other side, I got that one done already. It's ready to go on. I was just cleaning up the rotors just because. Um, I need to get the, I definitely need to get the fronts off because I want to paint these calipers and then I need to redo this because I screwed it up because this is all rusty. Um, so I need to redo this in black and then do these in red. So I need to get these off, get those into the paint booth. Paint booth. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll get that done. All right, so both front calipers are all painted up. Made sure to tape up my bleeders. I took all the hardware and stuff out of there, so it's gonna be a nice, clean look. And then I resprayed these. I was just gonna do one, and then I realized it was like a matte finish, so I needed to redo the whole thing. Plus, I didn't wanna take all these individual bolts out, and they're all like silver, so I needed to, uh, yeah, just do the whole thing black. I'm gonna do one more coat, and then should be should be good on those. Look at that. Brakes are all on. They're not pretty good. Honestly, I probably could have gone with like a clear coat on that to make them pop a little bit more, but it's still pretty good. I mean, it's, you know, it's gonna have black wheels on it. I think it'll really, it'll pop pretty good. The back turned out pretty good too. I just kind of did a real clean up on the rotors, you know, quick clean up on the rotors and stuff. Those are actually in pretty good shape still. Um, and I did find out while I was messing with the brackets and stuff, because I actually mixed up a couple of the brackets, I found that turns out the 03 and 03 to 07 Accord brakes, the rotors are actually thicker because they don't fit in those brackets. So I actually did an upgrade and I didn't even know it, but yeah. So it's all together, all everything's tightened up. So I think it's time to actually bleed the brakes. I can bleed the brakes guys that's that's exciting that's yeah hell yeah it's gonna be a big step forward look at that so good I've been working through bleeding these. I've had a bunch of random leaks here and there that I've been able to fix. This one, not so much. Um, it's leaking from both of the pipe fittings going into there, which is honestly the exact same problem I had with this when I put the brake system together. And I ended up deleting the, uh, the line locks that I had, that I had, let's see, right there. I deleted it because I could never get it to seal. And that's really worrying. Um, fuck, I don't know. Um, these things are absolutely as tight as you could possibly get them. It's to the point where I'm gonna strip them out. So I guess I'm gonna take the thing all the way off and see if maybe I can use some pipe thread, you know, pipe tape or something, I don't know, which is, I really didn't wanna try that with brake system, but I don't know, that's the only thing I can think to do. Okay, I got this back off of there. Um, so yeah, so it was leaking from these fittings. I mean, they're a tapered fit, uh, but they're not like, a, you know, they're not flared or anything. So um, what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna try this stuff. Uh, I looked online and I found a bunch of people that had a similar issue um, and they tried this stuff and had good luck. So we're gonna give it a shot because I don't know what else to do. Okay, while well, I'm waiting for that, uh, that, those fittings to dry, I'm still trying to get this fucking fuel tank out. I'm trying to get it out because I've got, um, I need to take it to the this guy. I know he does aluminum welding. Um, turns out, once the body is on, makes it completely impossible to get this thing out of there. I have tried so many different things to get it out of here. 
I grinded more on here, I grinded more on a tab down there. It's just not working. And it's because it's hitting right here on this. Um, so what I've decided to do is I'm gonna make an access panel. I'm going to cut this along here, down to here and to there. Um, it's still in a spot where I can, I'll be able to attach it and then it'll make it so I can pull this off, get the fuel tank in and out if I need to. Plus I guess in the future, you know, it'll give me another access point to the rocker panel for, you know, wiring or coolant hoses or whatever. So yeah, we're just gonna do that. Woohoo! Fuck things finally out of there. Oh man, what a pain in the ass. Here you can see the, the spot that I cut out. This will still work out pretty good because I can still attach it down here. I'll be able to attach this one down here uh, along all that edge. And then also I'll be able to attach it like, you know, on here if I need to. So that'll work out pretty good. Plus, you know, I can get all the way up in the uh, the rocker panel now so I can mount, down, mount things down in there if I want to or whatever. Whew. Okay, so I'm back here messing around with the doors. I still don't have the door latch, but I do have the um, like lift support and then like these little guys. So basically it's supposed to go onto this bracket here. Um, so I'm gonna need to drill a hole somewhere in here. So I'm gonna drill that hole and then I'm gonna take some measurements and try to figure out exactly where in this bracket it needs to go, which from what I've seen, it looks like it's like all the way at the end um, some guys have actually had to extend this because it wasn't in the right spot, so we'll see. Okay, so I took some measurements of that rod and like all the way close, it's just shy of 11 inches. And this 11 inches is out past the metal. So that tells me I'm gonna have to add onto this. They did not make this long enough, clearly, because I can't compress this thing further than that. So I'm gonna have to extend this out to some degree. Um, yeah, so I can mount this little peg, which is really stupid, but it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going a little bit more mocking up. Obviously, this is this is backwards. This is going to be on that side, but it gives me a good mock up because when this is compressed, it's going to be basically the same thickness as this. So um, it's hitting the body right now, so I can't really go down any further. But what I figured out is, in order to get this thing as close to the body as I can, so that it's not binding up, um, essentially. This little guy, it's gonna have to be basically on this edge of it to get it about right. And this right here is basically when it's gonna be maxed out. That's just kind of giving me an, an idea. So I think what I'm gonna do is just be a little bit further over and just kind of a little bit high on this. So I'm just gonna kind of build a bracket that kind of goes up like this so I can mount it somewhere in here. And I think that we should be okay. I am gonna have to uh, cut some more of the door because obviously if I come over here and try to mount this in here we've got a problem um, so I'm going to cut all that out but I think uh, hopefully I'm on the right track okay so the length is working and it's not contacting everything however these things are strong like I feel like they're way overkill for these doors. I don't know, you'll see what I mean. I mean, it's like, I really gotta push, and it's like, really hard to hold that thing down. I mean, it, that door's coming up fast, that's for sure. Those doors don't weigh that much. I'm kinda worried that it's gonna be too much tension, and it's gonna be like, you know, I don't know, break the door or something. It's kinda sketchy. But in any case, this is, you know, what I ended up doing. I uh, had it way out there. Everything seems to clear. You can see when it's all the way closed. Let's see how much, I got a little bit of gap there. So I guess, yeah, I don't know. Maybe if I went in a little bit further, maybe it wouldn't be so prone to just freaking come up hard. I don't know, but it's gonna be really hard to figure this out until I get the, the door latch so I know what it's gonna do, but well, I guess I can at least throw the door on and see what it feels like. Hopefully I don't break anything. Okay, so now that's on there, um, it won't close all the way because it's contacting pretty much everything, all of this fiberglass under here, which is kind of not surprising. I mean, it gets, it gets close, but it doesn't really, 
it's kind of making everything all wonky. This doesn't want to go, and even if it was, this is kind of popped out because it's pushing on it. It's a whole fucking thing now. All right, uh, I've been messing with this for a long time. I am drilling a whole bunch of new holes. I even welded a nut on here to space this out a little bit. Um, I backed that one out a little bit. This is probably the closest it's been, but it's still like, just doesn't shut right. Like you get, this is almost in the position, but this is kicked out so hard on the bottom that it will not go down. And it's not bottomed out on the shock. You can see how much room I have there. It's not hitting the body, which is gonna be difficult to see because I don't have, it's not focusing, but um, it's not hitting the body anywhere or the door. It just has so much tension, it's just pushing out on the bottom side of that door, and I don't, I don't know what to do about it. Um, I'm kind of thinking at this point, I'm just going to have to get a, a weaker shock or something. I mean, this thing comes up, like, in a hurry. Like, it's, it comes up pretty fast. Like, I feel like way too fast. So, I could probably go down with that, but I still don't know if that's going to fix the issue or not. It's still a lot of tension pushing out there. I, I don't know. Okay, back to bleeding the brakes. Again, I've already put uh, about two of these through it. It's, uh, it's still got a little bit of air in it, and I think it's because realistically I should probably be pressure bleeding it. Um, I've been mostly just doing it by pedal and just like into a container, so now I'm gonna try vacuum bleeding it. Um, I think there's still some air trapped in here or something because it's just, it, it like, if you pump it a lot, you can get, you can get pressure but then if you like let it sit, it like loses pressure. So, and I don't have any leaks. I've checked every connection a million times and at this point, they're all tight. So I'm gonna try bleeding it again. Hopefully we'll get somewhere. Oh man, guys, I'm like out of breath. I've been bleeding the fuck out of this thing. So this is pushed down now. I think I got it bled cause it's working. It's holding it. So that's good. I'm gonna try it a couple more times just to make sure. Oh man, I'm out of breath. All right, guys, I think that's going to be it. A um, lot of screwing around today. Uh, I got the brakes done. That's, hell yeah. That's a big, that's a big win. Um, I did kind of figure out that it's possible I might have had the brakes bled a while ago. And they're just extra bled now. They're really good. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I actually jumped in the car, pressed it with the brake, pressed the brake pedal with my foot, then hit the button, and it was working. It's possible I might not have been getting it far enough down because I was doing it by hand and maybe that's why it wasn't setting. I don't know. Um, but either way, it's working right now. I've tried it a bunch of times. It seems to be working. As far as I can tell, I think they're good. Uh, I do need to adjust the pedal a little bit because I noticed that you have to travel pretty far before you reach pressure. So I'll have to mess with the adjustment on that, which, you know, it's not a big deal. That's the down the road thing. Um, the door, yeah, that's a problem. I mean, obviously, last time I got the door mounted on, got it to, you know, line up pretty good. Now that I'm messing with the shock, it's just screwed everything up. I did. <laughs> it's been a complete disaster. Um, you know, I haven't even got to this side. Now I haven't even touched it. Um, but on this one, I did order, I ordered two shocks uh, that are, there's, this one is like a 75 pound shock. Uh, so I ordered one that's like a 60 and then I ordered one that's like a, I don't even remember 50 or 45 or something like that. So hopefully, uh, I can try those and maybe one of those will work and hopefully that'll solve my problem. Cause otherwise, I don't know. It's going to be back to the drawing board. Cause I got, I got no idea at the moment, but, um, yeah. So hopefully next weekend, next video, we can be trying that. But until then, like, subscribe, do the things. Peace out.